So it's been it's been about half a year since I've done this uh, tutorial, and I, shoot, I'm sorry, I have it's gotten so long for me to get back to it. I've been busy in real life. Yeah, a lot of things have just caught up to me, and uh, well, better late than never, I guess, right? I know some people were looking forward to uh, the next part of this tutorial. Can only say, yeah, I've just been really busy. Without further ado, let's get going. Um, just gonna start off from where I left off with the last tutorial video. And, uh, we're gonna create another frame. Uh, just for our interface, we're gonna copy and paste the, uh, interface from one frame to another frame. Just working on the interface from another place just makes it a lot more easier. Or making it the first thing we worked on. I always showed you all the basics of, uh, engine before but I think it's important to start with the interface first and seeing how my engine is based off of a mix of Bloom's Tower Defense Force and um, uh, Plants vs. Zombies we're gonna have two uh, bars here one here and one here for our interface so first uh, let's make two active objects well, let's just make one And that should be big enough. Let's come over here and make the blank coefficient 100. That way it's transparent. Oh, and one more important thing. You're going to want two layers. Make sure this, the bars are on the bottom layer so that, excuse me, when you add text or whatnot, um, the, uh, Let's rename this to interface. Yeah, it's important that the interface is at the very bottom. All right, and let's add another vertical bar. Uh, yeah, we could just clone this. Uh, do I mean do that? Once we have those in, let's just lock them for now. Might need to move them later, but again, let's not worry about that now. Alright. And our playing field will all be right here. Next thing we're going to want to do is add in some counters. And we are going to need about, let's say, four of those. Shoot. And that would be in data. Yeah. All right, let's set this up first. Keep the initial value zero, memory value zero, maximum value, yeah. Let's switch the type to text. That way we can change the color of it so it's easier to see along the interface. And we're gonna change the font. Well, at least I want to. To terminal, 14. And change it to yellow so that's easier to see at least on a black space mm, but we're gonna wanna clone this actually at least three more times oh, shoot I think I'm gonna do it one more alright and before I forget what these are for this shall be our counter for money Yep, money counter. So it starts at zero, minimum value zero. Yeah. And this will be our counter for enemies. You know what? Uh, let, let's just specifically call it enemy counter. That'll help out a lot. 
when we start programming. Money counter. You'll see why. Uh, because there's an enemy counter, initial value, minimum value, maximum value. Yeah, let's make that 100. Don't want to make it crazy like that. Counter 3 will be. Let's see. Money, enemies. Life bar comes last. Yes, this will be our life bar. Measure value 100, max. Uh, minimum value 0, maximum value 100. And instead of text, we'll make it a vertical or horizontal bars up to you. Or you could just keep it a numbers if you want. But uh, I want to make it a vertical bar. And instead of a solid color, I'll make a gradient. Vertical gradient, mind you. No, I want that backwards. There we go. And I'm just going to line it up evenly here. That shoot, didn't we do it in the center? Didn't we do that? I meant to put it left. Okay. Money counter, enemy counter. I got the life bar. I know I'm missing something. Give me a second. Of course, uh, it's quite simple, really. Uh, this last counter is supposed to be for our levels of, or waves of enemies that come at you. Yeah, so level counter because of course you can't really have a, a you know one initial value one, minimum value one, maximum value let's say twenty. Yeah, you can't really have a like tower defense or real time strategy game without it. So yeah. Then we're gonna need uh, strings to go along with it. Uh, you can have like if you're doing a oh wait let's name this life bar. Yeah, if you yeah if you want a clear indication that this is supposed to be a life bar, you could do a string like pointing to it or something. But uh, right now we're gonna use a we're gonna make about three of these corresponding to. How much of these we have? Actually, we're gonna do four. But first, get the font you want. Change it to the same color as your counter objects. And all right, that should be good. Now the only problem is lining all of this up. You can't do it um, via programming. So you kind of got to be precise with it, which annoys me to no end, but yeah. So you can set this up in every order like you want, but I'm going to put the money uh, string first. And yeah, you really gotta line that up yourself. I know that can be really frustrating sometimes, but to be again, I haven't found a way to uh, program it. And yeah, name this uh, money string or something like that, or just call it money. Don't call it money counter, like your counter object. It'll just kind of as money counter too, since it's also a text object. But once you get it lined up, you can lock it. But uh, don't do that until you're done uh, cloning everything you need. So we need, yeah, more of these. So money, this will be our level. Uh, I, I renamed it that. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let me fix that real quick. 
And this will be that shoot. Let me bring that back up here. Level. And this will be our enemy counter. Oh wait. We had that there. Enemies. All right, and this will be our continue for next round. Let's say next round. Rena uh, not rename. But yeah. Next round. These are all on the second frame, that way, you know, it's above the, uh, there. I'm skeptical of where to put this. Uh, I'm entirely sure. I guess I'll leave it here. Oh, right, there's also one other string we'll need, and that is for a description box. And you will see why. Oh, and also this next round thing, uh, visible, invisible at start, yeah. As for this, let's go ahead and fix that to left. leave it blank. Let's just leave a period so we know where it is. And we will call it description. All right. And this will be used for, well, quite obviously for when we have descriptions for when we put um, placements here. Like this is where we will be able to spawn uh, our troops and whatnot and put them on the field. Uh, I guess I'll end it right here. Uh, just trying to get the interface down before we start on the uh, actual, you know, more advanced gameplay stuff. Uh, catch me in the next video. It will be uploaded right after this one, so I'll leave a link in the description. I'll follow it there for the next video. Thanks for watching.